hello everyone so today i am going to implement uh, this shooting through portals mechanism so now as you can see here if i show from this portal this projectile exit from the other portal so let me place both portals here now you can see it clearly like this and if i no matter where I place the portal, it works in the same way. See, if I make it like a loop, that means here now I can see this portal from its side, from inside too, so it can go in a loop like this. But since this is a projectile, it can break sometime because uh every time we go through here the it falls down because of gravity and also this destroys this as a limited lifetime okay so this is what we are going to work on today By the way, you can download the updated project files of this project, not just this project. I have, to the date, I have done over 1600 tutorials and for each of those tutorials, you can download the project files from my Patreon page for the membership without a limit. So I'll leave a link in the description below. Feel free to check it out. Okay, so let me first open the weapon component because I have disabled the projectile shooting uh, and I kept because I changed it to shoot um, portals. So now what I want to do is need another input. For that here we have I a shoot L, I a shoot R. So I duplicate this and name I a shoot M. M stands for middle mouse button. So now in here, oh wait, not this one. MC weapons. I a shoot M. So here I'm going to use middle mouse button. You can use any button you want. I just need some input to shoot uh, projectiles. That's all. Now, uh, now that I have set it here, I a shoot M. Now we just need to spawn um, projectiles. So we need to calculate the transform for the projectile. That part is already here because this was already there originally in the blueprint. So let me just copy this and paste. Right now spawn actor from class and the actor is projectile pp first person projectile and this is the transform i set try to adjust location but always spawn okay now i should be shooting projectiles when i press middle mouse yeah cool now with right mouse and left mouse i can still shoot portals but the projectiles are not going through portals as you can see i should disable those line traces okay now let me open 
the first person projectile so here the collision component is custom object type is projectile so let me open the portal blueprint here um these are the colliders call one and call two uh in order to support moving projectiles from any point of this portal i'll increase the size of this sorry it should be unlocked right uh, it doesn't perfectly match maybe i should have used uh, well i can replace this with the uh, yeah, um, cylindrical shape collider but let's just test this with this okay and this is overlap or dynamic but projectile is blocked so i'll go to custom and make sure projectile also overlaps so what happens here is if i select one of them you see this is some component begin overlap so we call this jump portal on the other actor which overlaps with the collider so if i go inside here this is what we do set the exit collider and call jump portal through this ppi portal jumper interface uh, we have defined so we have already defined this for our first person character let's see that here so we can pretty much use the same logic so what we are doing is set the location and rotation and as we enter the portal we save the jump velocity magnitude and then after changing the location and rotation we restore or set again the jump velocity that's what we do so let me just copy this part this event jump portal and go back to projectile under class settings let's implement ppi portal jumper here now that i have implemented the interface i can paste this implementation event portal jumper so the velocity so here we have a projectile movement therefore i'll get velocity from that component like this okay now after setting the location and rotation of this actor again we can set velocity so now the velocity should be then based on the new rotation of the actor of the projectile so get that forward as I mean it's going on forward direction it has to be multiply this with so uh, this is not a variable so let's create a variable and multiply it here and set compile now it should be good to go let's see get one place one portal here another portal here uh, let me paste this one here so i can see both see oh it's going in a loop see that's cool so now you see it goes through the portal If I shoot from here, it comes out of here. If 
if I should do this portal again, it can go in a loop, but this is going in a projectile. So at some point it can break, see. Okay, let's try to target the Yeah, cool. So if I face the portal over there, and this one over here, still same. Yeah, okay, so that's how it works. Alright, so thanks for watching. See you in another episode, and I'll post the link to the updated project files in Patreon page. Sorry, in the description. Goodbye.